one's ears. Yeah. Yep. That one's a doe, but that one that's in the back, I can't tell nothing about. Yeah, that's It is day two of third rifle here in Colorado. Yesterday it happened so fast that within five seconds uh, we were set up here on this power line and had two bull elk come out of the bottom and then head over into the timber. Uh, There's probably 700 yards away from us. Couldn't get a get on them and get a shot. And uh, coming back in here today, they have walked through my boot tracks that I left since yesterday. So. I'm hoping they'll pop back out here sometime this morning and I can get a shot of one. I got three cows and a spike dumbbell in me right now. Where, what'd you say? Can you hear me? guys did not get it on camera it happened so fast but uh i gotta bull down and make my way to him now what Walking back. yeah i started to see if you want me to pick you up but i figured it'd be better if we beat you to your bull <laughs> your bull's up here yeah fire's up here too <laughs> i guarantee it It was at this moment he knew he fucked up. I'm fucking die. Here comes the old stubby self. Let me get out of the bushes so you guys can see. In the elk hunt community, his name is White Milk. Goose. Because he never takes the day on off. <laughs> Much cooler if my pack wasn't there. Oh my god. Almost there. So, what do you think, man, Billy ought to name our outfitter? Ah, oh, Jesus Christ.
That's a good name. Jesus Christ Outfitters. Oh my god. What do you think, baby? Holy sh**. You think it can... Oh my god. Oh god. The screen shut off and it's blank in colors. We're unwrapping off our screen. Get some sticks with it. You gotta give me a minute. Oh, does that mean it turned off or is it still recording? It's still recording. Hit the top. I bet. Oh my god. It's a lot of animals. I must need to get some good pictures going the other direction too. Hey, look at that. Where are you hitting? First shot there. I'd say. Oh, there's one. <laughs> no. I know. What yards was he? 650, I think. Was he? Yeah. No. Well, let me look at my tape. <sighs> All right. Yeah, he's 650. Yeah. Cool. Now y'all gonna get in here too. No, yeah, y'all. All right, guys. Got the bull. Sorry, couldn't get any of it on video. I got Todd and Billy right over here. But I'm gonna try to put something else together. These guys got mule deer tags. Hopefully, I can get something on video with them. The backside of your angle. Oh, that's not great, but that's what I got. There's a down tree, a really long down log directly over his back. Or uh. About a deer's height above him. Are they still behind him? I asked him. Yep. Yeah. Hasn't moved. Hasn't taken a step. He's directly at a 45 degree angle from that last pine tree that's down there. If you follow that that same row of, of aspen straight back through there. Yeah, I think there's trees blocking him from me. Probably is. There's several there. All right. As long as he ain't running. Come right here. There's a rock. I don't know if it's good or not. Huh? There's a rock that looks like you'd have a similar angle right over here. Gotcha. Same spot. Right. Yeah, he's dead. You ready? Yep. Maybe dead. Talk about a contortionist. Turn his head, level the bubble. Level the bubble. Turned his head. I'm actually just gonna walk here. He looks antsy, yeah. Uh, He's thinking the same thing. If he walks forward, it's probably better for you, anyway. You ready? Yep. Over, uh, a foot over his back. Drop. He hasn't moved. Three minutes, two minutes, two and a half minutes. Sorry. You ready? Yep. Kill shot. Yep. He's done. He's done. Oh, he's ate it. He's damn it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
What a fucking shot, dude. Yeah. Woo. How far was that? 722. That's why I was like awesome. three minutes. Yeah. I was like two minutes. No, three minutes. No, give it two and a half minutes. It's 700. Yeah, dude. That first one. I've never been so tired. 12 and a half. <laughs> Seems to be hammer time. What is that? Sending all remaining rounds. I'm a little jacked right now. Are you? Yeah. Just the thought of a maybe. I'm pumped. So I'm trying to stay calm. God, they disappear so easy. They're uh, still standing there. Okay. Seven, six. Can I see one more time? Or yep. you, you do it. You do it. Here, now, well, get on him with your gun just to see. I'm pretty sure it's a buck, though. I'm pretty sure I can see antlers. I, did, I for sure saw antlers 100%. I'm uh, taking my pack and going to the top of the hill. Okay, am I good to move? Does anything appear to be looking this way? No, you're good. Dad's behind the tree for me. I'll let you know for anything. Yeah, that's that's a buck. It's a nice one too, Billy. That's a nice buck. I'm gonna dry fire one, Rudy. Okay. He's not going anywhere, so just take your time. Say again? Take your time. He's not going nowhere.
whenever you're ready. Wait till it gets a little bit brighter broadside for me. All right. Heat under him, it hit under him. What? So after Billy had shot at this buck, from what I could see, it looked like he had shot right underneath of this deer. As time went on, I began to second guess whether he had actually hit the deer or whether it was just a clean miss. What you're seeing on this video is obviously a lot better view than what I had through a pair of binos. So we ended up making our way down the mountain that evening in search of blood and we did not find anything, no signs that this deer was hit. So we are certain that this was a clean miss.